Mobile kind of giving us a look of downtown and a lot of down trees, right, Steve? Ooh, what's is that a car? Yeah, we got on the other side of we got on the other side of Bienville Square and there is significant tree damage in Bienville Square. This is the pavilion to the left. Of course, you see a portable bathroom, but it's hard to see in this with the wind and in the perspective, but there are large tree limbs that have been broken off from the trees in the center of the park. Now, if we try to pan around, some of the larger trees look like most of them are still there, but a lot of the branches uh, from the trees back this way is where I'm trying to go. Uh, in the center of the park, uh, or the, the center of the park is littered with uh, large branches that have been broken off from the trees. Uh, and again, this is one of the uh, areas. Also, uh, you've got the right at the corner as well. Uh, well you, you can see the shaking. This is the wind shaking that, folks. This is how powerful the wind is. Uh, so powerful we can't even get out to shoot it. We wanted to go out and get out to shoot it. Uh, there's also a hanging uh, traffic light up there. Uh, the uh, more branches down there at the corner, but I think they're going to have a. They're going to definitely have a lot of cleanup in the center of Bienville Square. Uh, let me try to just pointing out some of the other stuff. Let me see if we can pull back on, on uh, some of the uh, traffic lights that have been broken and get cleared up here. Just bear with me a second. Uh, again, it's very difficult to show, but uh, uh, you've got some traffic lights down hanging by a thread, looks like, uh, right uh, there. This is going to be right at one of the corners of Bienville Square. So, and what's happening, of course, is because the wind is even more intense here because you've got the buildings around here it's wrapping up in a circle. So you've got that tunnel effect with the wind. So the wind is even worse down here than it was, it looks like, when we were on Water Street because at least you had an open street down Water Street. Now the wind's just circling. I think it was like uh, photographer Josh Harmon tried to get out and you can't even stand up hardly. So we're going to try to take a look around. There is also starting to be some a minor street flooding, uh, uh, Sarah, in some of the side streets, not on water that we notice. But we haven't even really begun to check out downtown Mobile yet. But this is, we have Water Street and then Bienville Square. We're going to go around and try to check in some of the areas and then maybe when light comes and when the wind dies down a little bit, we can get out and take in and do some ground level pictures. But uh, uh, fair, again, I don't see any huge of the large trees ripped out of the ground, but I do see a lot of branches knocked down. And that was probably to be expected in this kind of storm. Reporting live from Bienville Square, Steve Alexander, Fox News. All right, Steve, thank you very much for that live report.